Landing a job interview can be both exciting and nerve wracking. And this is especially true if you're interviewing for a job you really want. To up your chances of being hired, you need to dress for success. Your appearance is the first thing the interviewer will take in when you walk through the door. Now the biggest thing interviewers are looking for beyond all your credentials is that you know, they wanna know that you'll fit in well with the company. You wanna show their interviewer respect that you're serious about the job, but you also wanna seem like you belong there. Thus, you don't wanna look either too casual or too dressed up. Now, a good rule of thumb is to dress one notch above what your current employees at the company wear on a daily basis. And if you don't know how current employees dress because it's not a business you can visit, look at the company's website online and look for photos of the office and its employees. You can also make some general assumptions about how to dress based on the line of work you're, you're applying for. So for example, it's safe to assume that employees at a blue chip law firm downtown dress in suits every day, while employees of an internet startup keep it pretty casual. So let's talk about a few specifics on how to dress for different jobs. All right, so let's say you're interviewing for a more traditional profession like law or finance. You don't have to worry too much about taking it up a notch from what current employees wear since, well, you can't get much more formal than a suit. I mean, it'd be really weird if you rolled up in a tuxedo for your interview. Uh, wear a classic conservative suit, and we're talking single-breasted, notch lapel, boo, two or three button jacket with a single or dub double back vent, regular flat pockets, and a left breast pocket and with a pocket square. Nothing too trendy. Uh, pleated trousers are more formal than the non-pleated variety, so take that in consideration. As far as the color of the suit goes, your safest choices are navy blue or charcoal. Solid black suits are typically associated with funerals. Uh, you can wear patterns such as pinstripes and colors like brown or tan, but you'll definitely stand out. And that's up, it's up to you whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I say charcoal is a sure bet. Wear a solid white or blue dress shirt and make it a button up rather than button down collar as button down collars are too informal for this kind of interview. For your tie, choose one made of silk. Any classy pattern will do. A red power tie might be a bit too aggressive for this situation. Blue tie is definitely a good choice as the color supposedly evokes trust, loyalty, and stability. As far as tying your tie goes, you can't go wrong with a half Windsor knot. Wear dark socks that match your trouser. This isn't the time to show off your sock game with novelty socks. As to footwear, a plain or capped Oxford is a safe choice, but most traditional black dress shoes will work. Go with a lace shoe over a slip-on and choose a pair with a rounded toe, none of that square-toed stuff. And make sure that they're shined. Overall, you wanna make sure you have an iron shirt, make sure your suit isn't wrinkled and smells clean and that it fits well. All right, if you're interviewing for a job where people dress more business casual on a daily basis, where the guys usually wear button down shirts and trousers or khakis, then instead of wearing a suit to interview, go with a sport coat or sport jacket, a button down collar shirt, it's more casual, and a more casual tie. Brown Oxfords are a good choice for shoes or dress boots if the workplace is a little more casual. All right, so if you're interviewing for something like a customer service job where employees wear polos and khakis every day, it's like a call center job or something like that, uh, wear trousers or khakis with more casual Oxfords and a dress shirt and tie. And feel free to skip the uh, sport coat if you want. Okay, so if you're interviewing for a job that's of a professional nature but employees dress pretty casually, wear a button down in khakis. And in this instance, you can play with color a little more, so have some fun with it. And you can also choose some different patterns as well. Uh, add a tie if you want, but if you do, make it a casual one, something textured or knitted. And if the company does more creative work, wear a button down with an interesting pattern, like check is a great standby, and consider substituting the khakis for dark denim jeans, especially if it's a very casual workplace. And dress boots will work well in this instance. And finally, if you're interviewing for an entry level minimum wage job, wear khakis, a polo shirt, and a leather shoe that's nicer than sneakers like some casual loafers. All right, with that out of the way, here are a few concluding tips that apply no matter what kind of job you're interviewing for. Get a haircut a week to a few days before your interview. Don't try anything new with your cut. Now is not the time to experiment. If you don't have time for a haircut, at least have someone trim around your neck and ears to clean it up. Make sure your fingernails are clipped. Look over and set out the clothes you're going to wear the night before the interview. You don't want to realize 20 minutes before the interview that your suit has a stain on it or you're missing a shirt or something like that or your shoes aren't polished. Iron your shirt and shine your shoes the night before. Wake up with plenty of time to get ready so you're not rushing around. 
And if you're shaving, take it really slow so you don't get razor burn. I also recommend you do it the night before. And if you have facial hair, trim your mustache or beard. Take a shower before the interview, it's a given. Wear a watch in your wedding band if appropriate, but keep other jewelry to a minimum. And don't apply cologne. The interviewer may be sensitive to smell and that wouldn't be good. All right, there you go. How to dress for a job interview in different situations. I hope that video helped. Until next time, this is Brett McKay telling you to stay manly.